Hi guys, Josh back here again today. I'm doing some follow-up videos on uh, some comments that were posted and some questions that were asked about my uh, KCI beta mag. Um, you can check out the first video, it's on my YouTube account, um, which is a nice long review and um, kind of breaks down the mag and goes over some of the key features of it. Uh, the big thing that was asked was, how do you lubricate this magazine? Um, it's pretty easy actually. Uh, it comes partially lubed. Um, I personally have gone online and heard probably 80% of the reviews on this were not favorable because they had problems with this magazine jamming. Um, I have a few of my friends that do have ARs and they've bought this same exact magazine about the same time that I did, so theoretically it's from the same manufacturing time. Um, but they also had some problems with it and I asked them if they would lubed it and the question was no. They said, oh well it was already lubed so I didn't bother. Um, you definitely want to make sure this thing is lubed prior to loading it for the first time out. You'll notice a significant difference in it. Um, it seems to function smoother um, and you won't have as many jams if you have any. Now I've shot this thing and probably put 300 or so rounds through it, so three full magazines through it. Um, and the first time I went out I wanted to test it and really see how it did and I pretty much went buck wild and, and uh, shot the 100 rounds in under 30 seconds so I just pretty much non-stop just blew off 100 rounds of ammunition um, this was back when ammo was actually cheap so yes but anyways um, the key to it is lubrication you definitely want to lube it once you shoot it and you empty the magazine you probably want to put a little bit more lube in there as well um, now what comes with it I'm sure you've all seen the reviews, but you get the magazine, you get the little dust cover. I keep this on there because it is a powdered lubrication that they give you. Um, you get the little five round uh, magazine uh, loader, speed loader, and you get two of these bottles. Um, you should anyways. I got two of them. I don't know what they're doing now. Um, and I think you can actually buy this graphite lube online from KCI um, if you run out. But I've yet to run out. And like I said, you don't need a ton of it. You do need some of it though. Now, as I mentioned, the magazine does come lubricated. Um, out of the box. Uh, it's enough that if you were in a pinch and you ran into it, you grabbed it, you had one in the box and loaded it, you could probably get away shooting it, but I'd recommend definitely loading. Uh, once before you load it, go ahead and uh, put some lube in it. Now I've got a little teaching demonstration here. Um, so you see this is already loaded. I keep all my magazines loaded. Um, yes, I know it's steel core, whatever, okay? Don't worry about it. It's my choice. Um, but what you're going to do is inside there, you're going to see some plastic AR rounds, some 5.56 five, rounds that look just like this, but they're plastic. I, mean, I think it's a five or six of them. So what you're going to want to do is take your lube, take your cap off. You've got to cut the top off of it. Um, and then you just squeeze out the bottle. And you see it's kind of a fine dust. And I get just a nice, good powder residue. Oh, about that much or so. A little bit too much. Um, about that much of the lube into the top of the magazine and I shake it around really good and let it kind of drop down. Um, and then I load some rounds and if it's sm loading smoothly and they're going in nice and easy then yeah, great, it's working perfect. Um, if it's not loading easily, go and take your am ammunition out, be careful because you're going to have some graphite on you, um, and just put a little bit more in there. It's, it's kind of trial and error. See how much you need to make sure they go down smoothly. Those 100 rounds should pack in smoothly. You shouldn't have too much jam up trying to get them in there. Um, if you're having jam up, it means that there's not enough loot. Um, put a little bit more in. And you know you might want to put, say, that much more, just a couple little drops in there. Um, and this stuff is powder, so it does come out kind of chunky at first, but once you get it going, it is there. I would suggest wearing a pair of gloves or washing your hands directly after because this graphite lube does get all over you um, and it can stain stuff so just be careful with it. But um, that's how you lube it uh, and I don't want to bother taking all the ammunition out because it's kind of a pain in the butt and time consuming to take it all out and put it back in just to put some lube in there that doesn't necessarily need to be in there. So. But uh, there's a good idea on how to do it. Um, like I said, you want to maybe keep this bottle. I keep one in the bag that I keep the magazine in. Um, so I do have it in case I do need to reload the magazine in a um, fight or flight situation. So um, I do have that available for me right there. I keep one in the bag. Like I said, one's tucked away in the uh, gun cleaning box. So that's it, guys. Look forward to hearing your comments. Um, post, rate, please uh, send me some information um, and tell me what you think about the videos. Thanks.